There is, however, one step that we've missed in this process. Even though we've deployed our multivariate test, uh, in order for Sitecore to evaluate the effectiveness of the variations to tell us which one uh, we should, in fact, go ahead with, um, it needs to be able to have a sense of uh, conversions, which variation produced the most goal conversions. So we need to go back into Sitecore, and we're going to go into the Sitecore Marketing Center. In the Marketing Center, we have our Goals folder. And this is where we can create our own custom goals. So let's go ahead and create a goal, which is signed up for information pack. One thing we need to remember in Sitecore is when we create a new goal, we need to publish it. And the way that we do that is on our review tab, we have a uh, workflow action called deploy. So we can just go ahead and deploy that, and that's gone out to the live site. We also want to give the goal a score, and that's how we actually measure the, uh, the, the value of the goal. So let's say 10 points. Let's just go ahead and publish that again. OK, so we need actually now we have our goal. We need to assign it to our page so that when people uh, sign up for an information pack and land on the thank you page, we're actually going to register that goal. So the way we do that is we select our thank you page. We go to our analyze tab and we select our goals option. And you can see there's the new goal that we just created. So I'll check that and say OK. And again, we'll just go ahead and publish this page. And that's it, all done. Variations deployed, goals set up, the site is now ready to start analyzing the effectiveness of our variations. Another slight technical segue, uh, assigning a goal in the way that we just did uh, so that it's triggered when someone hits a landing page is just one way of um, actually registering goals within the site called uh, CMS. Uh, we can also do it uh, through code uh, using the analytics API. So we can also uh, register goals using web services, um, Ajax, that sort of thing. Um, not a topic for today's screencast, but just wanted to point out that uh, that's not the only way that we can register goal events. So to wrap up this uh, screencast, we're going to simulate some traffic to our website and then end our multivariate test and have Sitecore recommend to us which variation created the most value. Now, normally what we would do is we would uh, make a variation sticky so that once a user hits the site, they always see the same version. Uh, but for the purpose of the screencast, we're going to change that. So if we actually go back to the Sitecore Marketing Center, and again, that's available from the Sitecore Start menu, we can see in the test lab where the actual definition or items for our multivariate test are. So here are the variations that we created. And you can see that for each variation, we're defining the data source. And if it's also a variation of design, we also replace the component with a separate layout. If I actually go back to the parent item for this, we can see that the test strategy is currently set to sticky by default. What we're actually going to do is we're going to change that to random. And then in uh, our screencast, we'll actually be able to see the component changing on the page. So let's make that change and go ahead and publish this. If we go back to where we started at the beginning of this uh, screencast, uh, the fictitious homepage of the Learn Center website, uh, we can now see that it's now loaded with variations. We're now seeing the aggressive title variation that we defined earlier on. And also our goal conversions are assigned. Uh, so the act of now going through the site and uh, clicking on download and registering a goal, we'll now start to build up in the analytics database uh, some values against um, each variation. And obviously, limitation of this screencast, we can't build up enough traffic to uh, see any meaningful results. But if I was to actually end this test after a, a period of time, I would come back into um, Sitecore, go back into the page editor, and in my testing ribbon, I can go ahead and stop the test. Now, what I would be presented with is each of my variations, and against each of those variations, um, an idea of value based on the activity over the period of time that we'd run our test. Uh, we can now select the one that we actually want to persist on the page. So if we decided that 
the aggressive title is the approach we want to take based on our results. I can select that and it's going to then put that component on the page as the defined uh, variation. So once we go ahead and publish our page out, uh, let's go back over. If we went back to the site now, uh, that would be our, our final variation. Now, just a final word on the design of the components that we have in our page. SciCore allows us to run a single A-B test or multivariate test per page. So it goes without saying then that we need to be careful in how we design our components. For example, if we wanted to test the whole of this, every all of the elements on this home page, we would need to build a larger component that enabled us to define um, each of the data points um, for that entire section. If we know we only want to do a test like uh, we've done in the screencast, which is to change some text and a few buttons, then we, we're, we're fine with a smaller component. But that's something we definitely would analyze at the beginning of a project, knowing what sort of tests we want to run on the page and making sure that our components are architect architected in a way that will support that. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this screencast on A-B testing. There's obviously um, a lot more to consider when you're, when you're getting into a, a multivariate test or A-B test project, but hopefully this gives you an idea of how simple it is to do within the site core uh, content editor and page editor interfaces and the flexibility that we can have as content authors. Thank you.